Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate yet another use of an Excel data table to perform what-if analysis. In this lesson I'm going to be setting up a one input data table. I want to see the result of changing values for one input on multiple formulas. Let's get started. Over here we have our initial projections for a startup business. I'm confident in the selling price. I'm confident in the cost to manufacture each unit. What I'm not confident about are the units to be sold. I'm not really sure how many units we have to sell to be profitable. So what I want to do is I want to set up a series of changing units. Let's start with 5,000 copies. 5,000 units that we'll sell and let's use it in an increment of a thousand so all I have to do in my series is set up my first two values and let's go down let's say through 20,000 units all right now what I want to be able to do is I want to see the effect on the calculations for profit how that will change the calculations on revenue how revenue will change by uh, changing the number of units sold and our variable cost so if we take a look at the formulas, I use the keyboard shortcut control tilde. These are the three formulas that I want to test to see how changing the number of units sold will affect profit, will affect variable costs, and will affect revenue. I'll use control tilde to bring that back. So over here, what I want to do is I want to establish a link to the cell that contains the formula for profit. Over here, I'm going to use the equal sign to establish a link in our original formula for the cell that contains the result of revenue. And finally, I'll use the equal sign to create a link in our original table for the cell that calculates our variable cost. So here I have the formulas that are linked, and here I have the substitute value they're going to be substituting in the formula for units sold. All right, now to create the data table, begin up here in the cell in the upper left corner. Notice it's a blank cell, and we drag to include the links to the formulas that we want to see the effect on, and then drag down to include both the substitute units as well as the units to be filled in in the data table. Go to the Data tab on the ribbon. In Data Tools, come over to What If Analysis and Data Table. Now, in the Data Table, what we're going to be using here for our single input, we're going to be substituting values running down in the column. So our column is the unit. That means that in our original formula, this is the cell that we're going to be using substitute values for. Click OK and there you go. So now you can see the effect if instead of selling 15,000 units we sell 9, this is our loss, that's the amount of revenue, and these are our variable costs. It's easy to see our break-even point. When we sell 16,000 copies rather than 15,000, then we break even. That's our revenue, and that's our variable costs. So the most difficult part this I find is differentiating between the column. We go down in the column, we go across in the rows. So we set up a series and then what I did for the multiple formulas is I created links to see the effect on changing one input, how that has an effect on multiple formulas. There are other ways that we can use data tables. Here's an example that I used in an earlier lesson. This is called a two input data table. So I have inputs running down in the column which will substitute for the amount borrowed and I have inputs running across on the rows that will substitute in the original formula for the interest uh, to be paid. And then here is that formula. So we can use single input or double input data tables. It's a great way to perform what-if analysis. I spend a great deal of time in my DVD, The 50, great, 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007, going through the various elements of what-if analysis. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.